Oh, she's biting his neck. Marshall, look out. Diana, stop that. Hey, turn the light off. What are you doing here? Marshall, she's a man-eating plant. <laughs> she eats flies, and she's gonna eat you. That's ridiculous. Marshall, she's gonna trap you. I don't need to be saved. Fine, let those be your last words. Grin. wait! Man-eating plant. <laughs> Victoria Death Starfighters, my name is Carlin Jones and this is a Starfighter TV analysis. This analysis I will be covering a TV show which one, you probably never even heard of or two, this show has been living in the back of your subconscious mind that it grew into a non-existent memory. Today I'll be talking about the 2002 sci-fi series Strange Days at Blake Cozy High. Now for this analysis, I will be discussing two topics. First topic is being the importance of throwaway episodes and how they're filled with life lessons that are not only beneficial to the viewers, but to the characters that are trying to grow as human beings in between the story arc of the show. And my last topic is on how a TV series that's designed for three seasons or less can have a greater impact on any show that has lasted five or more seasons. So with that said, let's get into it. We all felt it. Great Colsey High has caught Marshall's cold. We go to the only boarding school with a hyperdimensional vortex in the basement. Good point. Mm -hmm. Now, the first topic of this analysis will make a lot more sense once you understand the premise of this series. Strange Days at Blake Cozy High is about a group of five friends and their favorite teacher learn everyday life lessons through scientific preternatural events that occur in their boarding school. Strange Days at Blake Cozy High has a compelling story from beginning to end. However, its story arc isn't what made Strange Days such a distinctive show. In actuality, the show flourishes for its care of throwaway episodes. Now, what is a throwaway episode? Although there's no clean cut definition, a throwaway episode is a installment of a TV show that has no correlation to the main story of the said TV show, meaning it's an episode you can skip entirely and not really miss out on anything. Strange Days at Blakozy High, along with most TV shows, have a handful of throwaway episodes. But you should be surprised when I say that Strange Days throwaways are just as good, if not better, than their main story arc episodes. For an example, there's an episode called Magnet. Josie, a new student at Blakozy High, invented a scientific project that calculates the potential energy stored in a person's body. However, when Josie's project goes haywire, she later finds out at lunch that her body is magnetized. With the discovery of this new ability, Josie decides to play some practical jokes on students and teachers. And when a bully confronts her on her new abilities, Josie couldn't handle her abilities nor her emotions, causing students and a teacher to get hurt. With that said, Josie is still struggling to fit in at her new school, and it's not from the inability of people who want to be her friends. With always transferring in and out of schools, Josie feels that it's best to not get close to anyone since she's always leaving. She finds it a lot easier to just be the outsider. However, with the help of the science club and her science teacher, they were able to recreate Josie's science project and reverse the effects that happened to her. And at the end of the episode, a correlation was made between Josie pushing people away and her having magnetic powers. No matter what she did, people couldn't get close to her. 
And the life lesson Josie learned was not to push people away who care about you. Now, with everything I just said, this is a throwaway episode. Again, you don't have to watch this episode. You can skip it entirely because it has nothing to do with the main story arc. The fact that Strange Days at Blake Cozy High puts this much effort into its throwaways is beyond impressive. This episode gives viewers food for thought and continue to flesh out its characters. After watching this show, I only wish more shows would put this much effort into their writing. There's gotta be something we can do. Something we've missed. I can't think of anything. Maybe Lucas is doing something to help himself. Sometimes even in science, we have to learn to just trust. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever started watching a show and through the first season, you absolutely loved it? You love the concept, you love the characters, hell, you even love the theme song, which you have on your iTunes library. But have you ever watched a show that you loved and after seasons, after seasons, you kind of find yourself not caring? From the first season of Strange Days at Blake Hosey High, the show told you it had an ending and it won't waste your time in getting to it. With three seasons, 13 episodes apiece, and an hour long movie finale, the show ended. And from all the episodes, life lessons, and science this show has gave me, Strange Days at Blake Hosey High has left an incredible impression on me, even after all these years. More so than the 2007 espionage action series, Burn Notice. Now, if you haven't seen Burn Notice, I highly recommend this show. It is phenomenal. When I started the first season, I, I loved it. Now, I mean, I still love it to this day. It's just, I had the biggest problem in finishing the seventh season, which was the season finale, mostly because I honestly forgot what the premise of the show was. After over 100 episodes and an hour and 30 minute movie, the feeling I had for that show went away. Now, I know we can all name shows that have lasted for very long seasons and still hold up to this day. This analysis isn't really me debating whether less seasons is better than more seasons for a show. This analysis is just here to help you think. Next time you're watching a show that you've been watching for a while and you feel like you're out of touch with it, just ask yourself why. Alright Starfighters, that was my Starfighter TV analysis and please let me know in the comments if you started loving a TV show and over the course of time you kind of just fell out of love with it. Now, attention, attention please. Ambassador Endurant has arrived and will now address Starfighter Command personnel. Alright Starfighters, I gotta go, but in the meantime, if you like the content, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, victory or death Starfighters. <laughs>